I caught up with lawyer Ed in between scenes. Well, I, uh, I'm glad you came today. I started out in showbiz in, uh, right at the tail end of vaudeville. And it was great. It was a great time to be coming into show business. And uh, I, I left home when I was only 16. You know, I went, I went to New York. And, and that's where I met my partner. My partner here, Quackers. <laughs> that was a marriage made in heaven right there, you know. We, we, we were on the Ed Sullivan Show the night that, that there was a young group that was on there. And they were... You young mus musicians from England, and they, we were practicing all night. They were making all kinds of noise. I couldn't really think they were in there. Yeah, yeah, she loves me. Yeah, yeah. What a bunch of untalented guys. And man, they had some really shaggy hair. My fans kind of think that I should have a, a little more hair, and I, I kind of, you know, man, my age is kind of tough getting that, this much hair on there. But but I kind of, I'm kind of torn between this one, and I'm trying to torn the more natural look. You know, I mean, I think that this this is more more genuine. The Edward Sullivan show was our jumping off point, but we kind of jumped off at that point. We kind of like fell off of uh, off the radar for about 20, 30 years. And, and then my agent called me and he said, we've got a, we've got a soap opera in the Midwest. I'd like to have you try out for. And he says, uh, this, is a, this is a great show. I want you to kind of get spiffed up and start looking like a lawyer. And I, I said, I can look like a lawyer. No problem. I said that 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 I'll be right over there. And we interviewed and we got it, and it was like you know, just the rest of it's just history. In this show, I kind of play a lawyer, and it's a it's a very serious um, endeavor for me. My father always wanted me to um, to be a lawyer, and it's kind of a wonderful thing now that I had the opportunity to sort of fulfill his dreams and and his aspirations. And this is this is Quackers, Quackers, uh, and that twenty or thirty years when we we kind of falter and our 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 show biz kind of took a little bit of a nosedive. We started doing a lot of bar mitzvahs and we started doing a lot of stag parties and things. And we got these parties, we got those roles because people thought that Quackers was a female stripper. And so we got there and these guys were all full of beer and Quackers would have to take her clothes off once in a while. I mean, you know, what can you say? Uh, she was a little wooden, but these guys were full of beer. They didn't know the difference. They, they were perfectly happy with the whole thing. They were just, they just, uh, they were just happy to have, they, they could tell the guys that there was a, some stripper named Quackers there, you know, but, that, that was it. but since then I've been also working on something I'd like to have you kind of take a look at something very, very important, and it's called Siffers, and this is a, a product that I'm, I'm currently being interviewed and, and kind of auditioning to, to kind of promote this, and Siffers are a wonderful, wonderful product, and we were staying in those hotels, and and we couldn't even get fleas to stay with us there. It was so bad. But we had we used these zippers and we kind of cleaned up the place and it was great. And, and, and actually, Quackers doesn't wear shoes, but if she had, she would have taken them off then in that place. But the other thing that we've been, been kind of promoting is a thing here called Eddie Whip. And Eddie Whip is just a wonderful thing. So if you've been home all day watching soap operas and your children come home and you're, you know, you're cried your eyes out and you're sad and now the children come home and you're kind of thinking about what can I feed them? Can I feed them like a nice sandwich or roast beef or something. <laughs> don't feed them that stuff. That's not good for children. Give them something like this. Now watch this. You don't even have to have a bowl. You just put it right in their little hands like that. Give them a little spoon. They just kind of eat it. <laughs> Remember, Lawyer Ed eats it every day. That's a great question. Why do I think that uh, As the Corn Grows is such a wild and smashing success? Well, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how to say this without appearing to take all the glory, but if you just look at the ratings, every time I'm on this show, the ratings go up. I think it's basically Lawyer Ed. Now, Quackers has a little bit to do with it, but Quackers has nothing to do with the authentic look of what a Midwestern lawyer would look like. You know, nothing. Quackers is just a little bit too wooden. The cast of As the